Hi, I'm Pablo Palacios and I will talk to you about a Paradise Hockey. The new Paradise Hockey. Paradise Hockey is an adapted ice hockey group sport rooted from the original ice hockey. Practiced by people with physical disabilities, that's why they adapted it and it is regulated by the Paralympic International Committee and it is part from Paralympic Games, probably you have already seen that. Of course, it was first practiced and invented at the Rehabilitation Center in Stockholm, in Stockholm Sweden during the 1960s by a group of Swedes who despite their physical impairment they wanted to practice and try to get better and play in hockey. Their equipment, uh, without talking to with clothes, it is a hockey helmet, the same as in the in the original game, a sledge used for people with disabilities to can move and locomotion in the sport, the hockey stick, and for the two groups, the puck. It mostly tries to get the most points, uh, throwing the puck into the rival's goal. Uh, it's like most of the group games, and it's played by players. To be more specific, there are six players per group. In total, 12 players in each field. Going to the science part, the forces that are acting in this sport are friction. While the slide is touching ice and, and for moving. A little bit of a resistance because you need to, to move in, in some directions and there are some ways to go faster or slower depending on what you want to do. Uh, while pushing themselves to move because they are in a sledge. Inertia. When a goalkeeper is standing waiting for them to shoot the puck when the other group is trying to put a goal in their goal. Acceleration because for locomotion Ledge. And finally, this is different compared to normal ice hockey because in here they use a sledge instead of ice skates. This is a great sport that was that was adapted because a lot of people wanted to practice this, but they have dif different uh, impairments or disabilities that couldn't uh, allow them to play a normal hockey. Thanks for watching, bye.